Hello? Good morning. Good morning, man. How are you? Good morning, madam. This is exactly, and I'm glad that this lady is courageous. Uh, she's got a bit of Dutch courage, really, and uh, you can see that even her facts are wrong. And this is what PF is all about, a small number of people in PF. You have Dutch courage, it doesn't give you knowledge, complete lack of knowledge. Number one, she's saying if we are complaining of UPND, you know, complaining of buying BX expensive, but UPND MPs are buying UPND, sorry, BX vehicles. It's a simple thing. It's a lack of leadership. When UPND comes in, we will change the policy. We will not even leave it to the MPs. We as UPND government will change the policies that nobody will be buying a VX. It will be the government of the UPND policy. She is admitting that the PF is failing to find solutions to control costs and move the money being wasted on VXs to buying medicines in hospitals, to paying councils, supporting councils so that council workers can be paid, to make sure that children are in school, including supporting persons with disabilities. This is exactly what she's done now, and I'm very glad she has called, exposing her lack of leadership in the party, the lack of leadership in the PM. That is a beautiful question, Madam Mumbi Piri. Thank you to you for coming to ask a question that exposes and confirms your inability as a PF to do the right things. What are the right things? To cut costs, to cut expenditure. So it's not, your, it's not the responsibility of your members of parliament? It's not the responsibility of the member of parliament. This is why we elect government, right? If, let's put it this way, why waste time to put a member's, private member's in a motion which will not lead to a change of policy? Does she know? She should know that a private member's motion in the house. And really, this is the ignorance that Mumbi Pili exhibits, and she, she loves, she has got talk time, right? A lot of talk time in her mouth. But that talk time is not back with intelligence, right? And knowledge. A private member's motion does not lead to a change of policy because the change of policy is driven by the party in office. And that's what you paid. <laughs> you paid, you will do. So, why wait for a private member's motion if you know what needs to be done? We know what needs to be done. We don't need to wait for a private member's motion. Mind you, even if a motion is put, is on a simple majority. A simple majority, the UPND or opposition will not win. 
is the constitution the Uteni were blocked it because it requires two thirds majority. Mumbi Peri should know that. She understand that. When she was in opposition in, in PF, they put private members' motions as PF in opposition. Together with us, there was no policy change. You couldn't change the MMD policy. We can't change the PF policy. We can only change the PF policies by a change of government, by bringing UPND into office. Her second question, her second question, that we are talking of corruption. I'm glad she again admits that there's corruption in PF, Forest 27. She says there are members of parliament of UPND. She names one as Chitaro Kasanda. We don't have a member of parliament, you know, <laughs> in that definition, right? We, I don't know uh, the member of parliament in that definition. Uh, maybe she knows something I don't know. The issue here is that, away from uh, exhibiting ignorance there, the, the issue is that she's admitting that there's corruption in the PF. And she said, oh, UPND members also, you are benefiting from the PF corruption. That's why we need a change of government. And we will bring a zero tolerance to corruption. And we will not allow Forest 27 to be abused by the way by the man in the manner papers are used. Who opened up, who degazetted Forest 27 for the vouchers to devour it? It was the PF. UPND will not do that. Simple. I'm glad Mumbibiri, you called by Mumbibiri. I like your Dutch courage, but we will help you to understand things better. PF is corrupt. Full stop. There must be a change of government. You are you're taking too much money, people's money, fire tenders. What do you want us to do on a fire tender? A wheelbarrow, a second hand wheelbarrow for called a fire tender, which costs $200,000. You spent a million dollars. You waste the taxpayer's money, $33 million. That money could have gone a long way to look after the weak and the sick in society. When you steal social cash transfer, 10 months, British citizens, taxpayers give us money to pay the old, in court. To, to support the people living with disabilities, persons living with disabilities, you steal the money, you steal the social customers. You should be ashamed, even to call on this radio, Mumbi Piri, you should be ashamed. Sometimes have a sense of shame. A normal human being has a sense of shame. You don't have a sense of shame. You on? must develop a sense of shame. Right, people on? are suffering, you should be embarrassed. Okay. Thank you. Um, Somebody wants to comment on the retirement age. Are you going with the 65 or 55? Mm -hmm. uh, and then they say that because this has contributed to unemployment. Thank you very much. That's a very good question. Actually, we had touched it on which already. Retirement age under the UPND will not be your benefits, lump sum, under the UPND government. You can start a new business. At 55 years old, when you leave, you are permanent secretary. It means that. The director in that ministry can be promoted to become permanent secretary. Because at 65 years, it means those who are at the top levels have clogged up those who are 50. Imagine somebody serving up to 65 years old and another a director is 40 or 50 years old. They will never become permanent secretaries. They will never become directors because they too will pass the retirement age before the one who is in office retires. And by doing that, promoting those in the middle, you then create employment opportunities for those that are at the bottom. That's what UPN is going to do. So retire the public sector and general retirement age at 55, pay lump sum.